Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. And today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Capricorn. This reading is for Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node, Taurus, Holy Spirit. Oof. Letting go of, pa of the past requires forgiveness. Oh, some of you, this is a full moon releasing in Pisces. You know, Piscean energy always equates with the moon. And the moon being things that you don't know. Somebody didn't doesn't realize the power in letting go of forget the past through forgiveness like they don't realize how important it is to forgive somebody that they want to let go of could be a pisces pisces is involved there somebody doesn't see the value of letting go through forgiveness of forgiving somebody mm, of asking for forgiveness mm-hmm This is how spirit is saying to do it, Taurus. So the first card is be patient. They will show you who they really are. And I think somebody showed you who they are. And it invoked justice. Um, getting justice. Justice was needed based off of what they showed you. It even requires an apology, some forgiveness, so that you can let go. And go forward. After what happened. After they showed you who they were. <laughs> justice came. I mean. It was not good. But spirit always balances things out. You know. Whatever's done in the dark. Comes to the light. Everything that is wrong. Is made right. Eventually. Mm. Tell me more spirit. Taurus. February, general read for the collective of Taurus, spirit, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node, Taurus, Holy Spirit, angel guys, spirit guys, what is the February general message for Taurus? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. I already feel that somebody showed who they were. They're a liar. Lies, mistruths. They were wearing a mask. You had no idea, Taurus. Ten of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Energy. Wow. Okay. This was very difficult relationship. Somebody caused a lot of issues. This was hard, challenging. You experienced this, Taurus, because there were lessons. Either you were there to teach them, probably, and... They taught you a thing or two, too. Wow. Somebody could have stole some money. That's the first thing that came into mind. Requiring somebody to go to court. A legal situation. This impacted you financially? Or this was a burdensome situation that had a very costly price to it. I... Justice does prevail. Spirit has a way of balancing things. They really showed their ass, I feel. Mm. <laughs> you 
Yeah, this was definitely a lesson on how to move forward after you feel like you've been invaded, like somebody robbed you even. Hmm. I don't know what this legal case is, but they're not going to let it go. Whoever feels like they were done wrong, you're going to court. You're taking them to court. Leave me a comment. You're going to win. You're going to win. Justice prevails. Whoever caused somebody to have a negative financial impact in some way to destabilize them financially. This was some low down dirty stuff, man. Mm. Thank God things change. The wheel shows up. You know, justice prevail prevails and you move forward, Taurus. You may have to just forgive this whole past situation in order to move forward. Yeah, there was definitely a lesson with the Ace of Swords at the center of your reading, first of all. You know, there was definitely some underhanded dark. I mean, they just lied. People even lied in what they... Uh, uh, their intentions were wrong from the start. That's why they get justice. Justice shows up. Whereas whoever had to experience this, you know, you get some good fortune. Maybe you get your money back. Definitely it taught you a lesson in love. Not to mix love with business for some of you. Yeah, love is something that has to be shown over time. Mm. Because you have to give people the chance to show you who they are. Of course, when you begin a relationship, everybody's, yeah, yeah, it's great. They show you their best side. They're laying it on you. But that was not the real them. They were a liar. They were after your money. Mm. For some of you, like, this was intentional. Taurus, you are the king or queen of pentacles. I mean, you're known to feel proud of yourself, to achieve higher things, to be persistent until you get it. Yeah, I mean, you are very down to earth. You're practical. You know, you have a high sense of worth. You're resourceful. You know, when it comes to money, you guard your money well. You invest it. You make it grow for you. People see that. Their intentions were always about a financial gain with you. For some of you, it was intentional. It was a plot. It was they. Shoot. Mm. Okay. Tell me more, spirit. Yes. Yeah, it took you a long time to see this, to walk away from it. Somebody even drank their way through it, not able to walk away because they numbed their self. Mm. Uh, this person is young. I just did a reading for you about some young person. They weren't mature, but damn, they were attractive. Hmm. Yeah, spirit shows up to transform this quickly, to transform you, to pull you out of it. But you, they really had you for a minute. They really took you to the laundromat. I mean, they cleaned you out. I mean, somebody depleted you. They didn't want to let you go. They wanted every penny. Oh my goodness. I just. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> you realize this. The first thing you do is move. <laughs> Some of you, as soon as you realize what they were up to. Um, you move. The Four of Wands is about changing your house, your home. You can't live with somebody you don't trust. The Ace of Swords is 
reverse and qualifying that as the four of wands. You can't be with somebody you don't trust. Some of you need space. You move. You get a new house. Mm, you don't care how much it costs. You, you're ready. The king or queen of wands assumes the natural order of things. They assume their position. It's like they don't shy away from doing what they have to do. Mm-mm. Oh, miss this conflict, five of wands. Yeah, you know, you actually creating some distance, physical distance, allows the emotional distance. Mm -hmm. It also separates your finances because you two had shared a lot of home expenses. Yes. Mm, maybe you just gave money and assumed they did the right thing with it. Wow, but they didn't. Five of Wands, reverse. Ten of Pentacles, reverse. Yeah, somebody, oh, you are going to court. You're not going to stop until you get to the bottom of this and until you get justice but you know i feel like as the more and more that this case goes on you are exposed to other ways that they try to harm you other you're shocked by some of the, the extent they went through <sighs> to hide the money this was the best move, the Four of Wands, getting a new house after you found out this all was a lie. They were a lie. Everything that came out of their mouth was a lie. You couldn't trust them, especially when it comes to money. What? You didn't even trust them with your personal things. Once you found this out, that was it. Shoot. Okay. Tell me, spirit. You saw it. Thank God you saw it. Thank God. they When they showed it, it clicked. It's like you started to put things together. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You started to put things together. You saw it wasn't adding up. That's right. Yeah, how could I be paying giving my share of our expenses and things still not being paid it's like our bank account was empty we were at a loss we were at a low somebody feels like a fool they feel like a fool when it comes to their money they've been taken you know justice will prevail they're not gonna just walk away this is not going to go away. There could be some e even deeper ramifications as a result of this. Hmm. Okay, what else? Somebody feels like a fool. Maybe, you know how sometimes they are, one party is much more, or they seem like they're much more uh, responsible in the monthly bills, staying on top of notices and all that. And so somebody fell back and gave them that control only to find out the till was empty. They weren't paying the bills. Something was off. Five of Wands reversed. They weren't doing what you expected with the money. Yeah, they, you two are looking at each other. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's like you can't believe it. It's like looking in the mirror and you don't even see, you don't know this person you see. It's like there are wounds. You're just thinking on this. It's like, who are you? Who are you? I don't know that. Yeah, you're heartbroken by this. You can't believe it. Somebody can't believe it. It's like they stole my money. You know, uh, I trusted them that they would do the right thing, that they were doing the right thing. Mm. Mm. Well, spirit, what? Do you recommend Taurus? 
Because I feel some bitter bitterness here. I do. That's why. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel some real anger, resentment, bitterness. Um, stuff that could keep you and hold you. That energy that makes you want to get revenge. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Spirit says you got to let go of that. You got to. Got to let go of it. You know, uh, and that requires that you forgive them. Oh, shoot. They're feeling kind of guilty. This heartbroken energy. I don't think that's just you. I think both of you, they miss you. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. They realize what they did. They're reflecting on what they did. They're feeling what you're feeling. You both are mirroring each other. With this mirror here, although when you look in the, the mirror, you're like, who are you? You don't even like what you see. I, I'm feeling like somebody's face is turned up. That's because they're deeply hurt. OMG, breaking up is hard to do. They're feeling lost. They're mourning. The death card is here. Mm. They don't want to let you go. I see why the death card is reversed and the eight of cups is reversed because they've had time to look in the mirror and, and they don't like what they see. They feel bad about what they did, Taurus. So somebody feels bad. Hmm. With justice here, though, I, somebody could go to jail, especially if there was real stealing. Hmm. You know, that you made them look at their greed, um, their need to manipulate and control, to take other people's, to take. Yeah. You made me realize my flaws. Yeah, they're quite clear on uh, how serious this is and definitely on the impact to of your relationship. Hmm. How this is impacting it is a negative impact. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Taurus, though, I do feel you need to try and move on for this. Not be bitter. Not be angry. Mm -hmm. I know you've received this message. You may not be ready for it. Want to do it. Somebody doesn't want to with the death card. Reverse and the Eight of Cups. They they know what they need to do, but they don't want to. Mm. Yeah, this person is reflecting. They know that they have work to do. And it's like, you know that you have to let go and forgive them. Let the justice system take care of it. Spring brings a change. Spring. Yeah, because, you know, spring, things start to bud. The What's dead, it, it falls away and something new replaces that. Spring has a lot of meaning for you. Mm -hmm. You'll be looking for spring at the end of February. And we got really uh, three weeks to go. Hmm. They tried to destabilize you financially, though. Somebody did some underhanded stuff, but justice will prevail. Mm -hmm. You know, you yourself, you are ready for a new cycle because to tell you the truth, you felt you were settling in a way. You know, you were lowering your standards. Um, something made you not feel comfortable in this, and now you find out it all has to do with money. And uh, mismanagement of it, doing some underhanded stuff with the money, the house money. They could have had access to other accounts, moving money. I, they were kind of distant, so you felt like you were set. You weren't happy. You weren't happy. You know, just like a little old teddy bear with his head. Hanging to the side. It's not even at a state of attention. Very lax. Not caring almost. Somebody didn't care. Which made you feel like you were settling. You needed a new cycle. But what a way that you had to discover this. 
in order for uh, something new to come into your life, to let go of them and to allow something new to come in. Mm. Yeah, you start to feel better about this in the fall, in the spring. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, somebody put some distance, right? So you created physical distance for sure. Once you found out about this lie in the fall, in the fall, they come back. Extending their hand with an offer, trying to... Uh, Maybe that's when they actually apologize, ask for your forgiveness. If that is the case, Taurus Spirit is saying, forgive them. Forgive them because that will help you to let go and to move forward. Okay? A new cycle is coming. The new moon is in Aquarius. Aquarius is being ruled by Pluto, which is Scorpion energy, the death card. Allow this situation to change, to end, and for something new to come of it. Okay? If you were able to identify with something that was said, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. I'm praying for justice to prevail and for you to be able to begin something new, start over again in a new cycle where you're not settling, where you don't have to worry about somebody stealing from you, lying to you. Let's pray for that. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let justice prevail for Taurus. Until the next moon phase, namaste.